all right hello guys so um, we are gonna go over uh, my processing of uh, M16 Eagle Nebula um, and okay so it's a bicolor image so I'll show the techniques that uh, I used to achieve uh, the end result so um, this is H alpha image uh, auto stretched um, I just did uh, basic uh, calibration and integration uh, crop the image then I did some deconvolution uh, and I built the PSF uh, from uh, around 20 stars maybe so here it is um, yeah and uh, I used uh, a mask to hide the uh, other stuff that I don't want to get involved and uh, to, to get uh, increased noise in uh, darker patches where which don't have details so um, yeah uh, here here's the mask so on the, the visible areas where the where, where the convolve and the convolution settings are like this um, I used 30 iterations and zero global dark deringing and bright deringing. Um, from experience and experiments, uh, I've noticed that uh, masking the stars uh, gives better result for uh, the, the details for the sh increased sharpness, um, but it might result in ringing around stars and if uh, mask is not um, good enough which was not in my case so I had to do some additional stuff um, yeah and so yeah the, the, the mask was kind of covering the stars but um, the convolution somehow tends to mm, ignore a bit more than I would want to it, it, it to so Okay, this is the result, the convolved result. So, um, here's going me, here's me going back and forth. Um, yeah, you can see the result. Um, maybe better in, in, uh, in here. Oh shit. Um, right. Um, yeah. So, yeah, just the convolution. Then I, what I did was uh, put the different kind of mask which reveals onto the stars and uh, some area around it. Um, and what I did was uh, clone the image pre deconvolution and just uh, use pixel mask to replace the parts, uh, re well, replace the stars with non deconvolved ones um, which uh, helps to hide some deconvolution artifacts so we have for example the star right so we have some we have some ringing around it here too and after applying pixel math for some iterations it looks like this yeah So the star, uh, the the, the ring, uh, ringing around the stars uh, is gone. So it's a little bit cheating, um, but uh, I achieved the result I wanted. So the the nebula itself is nicely deconvolved, and yeah, ringing is gone. So. Yeah, I'm I'm fine with that. Yeah, after that I applied some little uh, noise reduction. I use MMT for that, and later a bit of ACDNR. So yeah, it's 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 quite uh, light noise reduction. I don't like a uh, heavy noise reduction. Or you can see the difference. Yeah. I tend to use six layers, sometimes seven, but seven take a lot of time, and only 
when data uh, requires it uh, but if I don't like the end result especially in the darker areas um, yeah, I use the low amount for noise reduction and not that high of uh, adaptive which uh, helps with uh, smoothing out the noise reduction res re result um, and then I just uh, stretched it there's nothing interesting here uh, it was just two simple stretches which ended, uh, resulted in this then I applied some uh, HDR model scale transform um, I applied it uh, to everything ex except the stars uh, and yeah, basically I just uh, enabled lightness mask and increased layers to 7 the result is like this so we have not that bright fairy in the core of the nebula and some local histogram equalization passes with one with the larger kernel radius and one with the smaller to enhance different areas of the image yeah that's the higher one and the lower is on this Then I just reduced the stars uh, just a little bit. It's not very noticeable. Just a bit. And at this point, uh, I was basically done with uh, H alpha image and um, I started working on uh, all three but uh, before going to the other channel mm, what I did was prepare each alpha image for um, starless prepared the starless version of it uh, for um, combination to buy color image for, for color only I use later the H alpha image as a lightness, as luminance, lightness. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Um, here it is. No, it's an end result. It's, uh, it's not perfect, but um, it worked well for the color. So, okay, um, let's open the Starless. Yeah, I might have missed some steps, but yeah, um, probably I was doing this on the H alpha image, then cloned it and reverted back. But basically, idea is um, oh yeah, maybe on this one. Uh, yeah, just a little bit. Basically, idea is to create a good good star mask. Um, I had this star mask uh, for H alpha. Um, it should contain uh, most of the stars, or at least the the larger ones. And as you can see, uh, I didn't manage to create the the perfect mask, and uh, there are some small stars in there left. And what you want uh, after that is just to use morphological transformation, and just bash those stars, and along with the uh, MMT with disabled layers on re uh, enabled on the re residual layer. Um, yeah, so just uh, put on the star mask and use a lot of lots of duration of morphological transformation and multi scale median transform until the you like the result. So. Uh, after that, I just applied some more noise reduction to because this is this is going to be used for color only, so it's not that big of a deal to lose some small details. Yeah, and with all three, 
Ah, yeah, I see that I have uh, the steps for um, star removal in uh, all three, so we'll go over those. Um, all right, so all three channel is not that bright. Mind that I Im image this. And this target doesn't get <laughs> higher than 21 uh, degree in altitude. And so mostly I imaged in, in between 21 and uh, around 16 degrees and altitude. So this isn't great and uh, also I still don't have Astrodark yet. Uh, around a week left until it, uh, it returns. So this channel isn't, uh, was not used for details because as you can see it doesn't have really much of details to use. I used it only for coloring. So, no deconvolution. I applied the stronger MMT. Yeah, you can see this. Um, I, I, I use high amounts and higher adaptive settings. After that, I just stretched it. There are multiple passes of it until I like it. Um, then I applied HGR multiscale transform to reduce the brightness in the core once again as in each alpha image. And I used uh, this mask to uh, hide the darker areas and the stars. Uh, and then again some uh, LHE passes with uh, higher and lower kernel radius and after that I just uh, used the star mask for this image and um, reduced the stars to create the starless version so um, here's the flow how it looks like you can see the stars disappearing and the end result is something like this uh, so mm, let's open the starless version and I also applied some noise reduction to the starless version uh, increase, uh, in increased contrast a bit already some more uh, applied ACDNR and it was uh, somehow it worked better in this case for me and then I also applied some AB because I had some mm, gradients and I wasn't able to remove them before stretching and removing the, in the stars so uh, I used it here it's probably not the best way but it worked for me and I just darken it um, the surrounding area a bit alright and then on to the combination itself I use this nice pixel, uh, pixel math formula that uh, this uh, uh, dreams came up with uh, Reddit user um, it looks like this. It, it looks like this. Uh, and basically, what it says is, if H A uh, is stronger than 0.15 in the particular uh, pixel, then use it. If it's not, if it's uh, weaker than 0.15, then use combination of H A starless multiplied by well, 80% of AHA starless and 20% of all three for the red. And the same uh, idea goes uh, to green and blue. Um, the end result, uh, I experimented a lot with the different um, constants there, uh, different modifiers, and uh, well, the result you can see this and 
result looked like this it was well this is what it looks like uh, after combination and nothing else so you can see that's quite nice um, uh, we can see that the, the stronger uh, signal of uh, all three around here there are some also issues with this image like unwanted all three signal here and here and but uh, it's not that visible and we mitigate it a bit with uh, curves transformation all right so we uh, removed some green to reveal that blue and gold over there and then we just uh, applied each alpha as lightness uh, with some modifications here and here Oops. Um, yeah it doesn't look that pretty yet <laughs> so uh, applied some yeah, blue reduction to mitigate that those issues that arose with uh, l3 and so uh, it became a bit more green but again scnr to green and uh, it looks al already a little bit better then some curve transformation with um, mask and just for the center core area uh, increase some blue then some more and then just uh, increased lightness overall without well increased some blue for overall image and then lightness for overall image <coughs> then applied some ACDNR to uh, overall image and just a slight noise reduction to smooth things out and, and it's not very very noticeable I don't know if you can even see in the video yeah, in the darker areas maybe yeah, let's zoom in just a little bit not too much uh, after that I applied some more blue to with uh, this mask to more concentrated to the core the previous one was a little bit uh, more open and just to uh, surrounding areas and then some this this one I'm not sure how uh, to say what it is it basically ah maybe it's vibrance in Lightroom so it's basically the same here so just to make those areas pop a bit then some saturation to overall image and MLT to increase sharpness in the core you can see I used uh, uh, not this one but uh, this uh, mask to reveal the stars and the core and to so I could just add some more sharpness to it and the stars especially you can see this difference right before um, oops yeah it's quite nice technique to increase the sharpness I liked it a lot there's now there also tools like unsharp mask but uh, I know this one works for me really really well alright some more curves transformation uh, what I did here was uh, 
decrease blue in surrounding areas. So just not very much, just just a little bit. Um, then typical application of IC profile transformation to uh, make it look for everyone this as much similar to what I see as possible. Then some color saturation specific to some colors. Um, well, it's quite wide one, but uh, I used the hue shift to specify which colors I wanted. So I use this to uh, bump up a, a little bit of saturation to these areas, these blue areas. I have hidden stars, but um, just a bit. And the 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 the, the uh, saturation got increased a bit in these areas, so that's not very much noticeable. Maybe I hope. <laughs> Well, I pointed it out, so it's visible now. Then some saturation bump to the, the these uh, orange gold areas. A few times, I think, yeah. So it's not very noticeable, just a little bit. Then I rotate it to more pleasant uh, side of this and it looked more natural. Uh, applied this um, signature, this nice signature script, um, and that's basically it. The last script is for installing. Uh, I hope um, this is helpful to somebody and that you can understand what I'm saying. My English isn't perfect, so I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Um, I'm waiting for your critiques and comments as usual. I welcome them. I really want to improve. Uh, so, yeah. Alright, thanks. Bye.